Welcome to the final part of Sonic 8-Bit. Um, yeah, we're in the Sky Base Zone. Yeah, Scrap Brain isn't the last stage like it was in the Genesis game. There's something else here. You were here. in the Pollution Zone. Like, I am Don't literally move. in the pollution. Oh, it's so dark that even the rings aren't their usual color. Yeah, look how dim and dingy everything is. Stop getting shot. Uh, you... Okay, I'm assuming you can get hurt by those um, electricity bolts, right? Yes, you can. If I'm not mistaken, I dodge all of them properly. Oh, I probably don't even need a duck here. <laughs> Doesn't look like it now. Um. Still, imagine, imagine if like I stopped ducking in the middle of that and just got hit. <laughs> Feels bad. Feels bad, man. Zero out of ten. Do not recommend. Zero okay. out of can. This cannon is gay. Oh. I said zero out of can. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> I knew what you were talking. I thought you were trying to be funny. That wasn't on Did purpose. I didn't mean to do that. I fucked you. Up. You could have just played it off like you were doing it on serious and we doing it seriously. We were. We would have believed you probably. Yeah, I, I would. See, believed. I can't even talk. Doing it on serious. <laughs> I'm sorry, friends. I'm, I'm, not a, I'm not a functioning human being. <laughs> I don't think any of us are. Well, Will might be, but I'm definitely not. <laughs> I'm a fry cook. I work at do Weenie you, Hut Jr. Do you make Krabby Patties? No, like, I actually, like, got promoted to fry cook recently. Oh. <laughs> what were you first? Dishwasher. <laughs> I was just gonna say that as a joke, but it was real. Nice. Well, congratulations on your promotion. Thanks, man. Thanks, woman. Wait. We both said the wrong word. <laughs> Carrie likes to act like she's uncoordinated, but she's clearly more in the zone than any of us. What? <laughs> Occasionally, I have my moments. <laughs> okay, that, that was got... smart how you kept jumping and you stopped the platform from moving into it's the It's clear lane. that's what the game wants you to do. Yeah, I yeah, like that Carrie, idea. Yeah, Carrie, obviously. See, she's doing it again. She's um, acting uncoordinated. <laughs> No, I'm just saying I like it. I think it's a great game mechanic. Oh, okay. Carrie, are you a coordinate system? Are you a um, GPS? On, on, on Thursdays. Are you an orientable manifold? What the heck is that? <laughs> you know, like a, like a manifold. Like you're a five-dimensional manifold? I have no idea what that is. Probably I, I'm not even curious, though. D-battery. Oh. <laughs> no, that, that's, on, that's on Saturdays. Wait, today's Saturday! Ah, I have a D-battery! <laughs> Okay, yeah, secret path that is required to be taken if you want to get the emerald. Emerald. <sighs> so, notice how there's no ring counter there. Oh yeah, what? Okay, oh. so this shot always confused me because like it's hard to tell if it's the platform that's like uh like levitating up and down like that or the ship. Like I mean, it is the ship, but still. Wait, oh, is it really? I actually totally thought it was the platform. I guess it would make sense because the platforms are supposed to, like... Also, like, ooh. Greed was the enemy. <laughs> I died because I went for the one-up. <laughs> it's okay, I forgive you. Do you forgive me? That's who you is. That's who you is. No, it is not. Because you are you, and that makes me not you. Oh. Wait, but you're you. But you is subjective to who is... I'm kind speaking. of quoting Code Mint by Purple WTF here, because he's like, Suzaku, it's me! No, it is not! Because I am me, and that makes you not me! <laughs> <laughs> wow. Um, That's funny. That's hey, quality humor right there, friends. I have a question. Yeah. No. Oh. <laughs> By the way, Carrie, that's the guy who made Nun Piece, so... <laughs> yes. I am unfortunately aware of that fact. Nun Piece is great. I don't know what you don't see in it. <laughs> because the first thing that I watched was episode 10 at 2 in the morning. There is no that's episode why. 10, Carrie. Oh. I mean, 9. Whatever. Wait, what? Whatever the last episode was, the one when you went crazy. Okay, yeah, episode 9 gets a bit weird in the beginning. That but... one was really weird. Never wanted to watch it again. But second Christmas, Carrie. What? Are you? You died. Are you alright? I got shot. 
I knew that was gonna happen. You psychic. I've never even played this video, Hoigo. <laughs> Wait, you knew that I was gonna get shot? <laughs> yeah. By an off-screen cannon? <laughs> yes. Because I saw the bullet fly by earlier. Oh. Okay. I was like, oh, there's a gun, like, off-screen. And then a bullet came out off-screen and hit you, and I was like, hmm. I like how yesterday was, like, supposedly, uh... Was supposedly, uh, Mario Day because it's March 10th. You know? Oh, yeah. Uh, but we got news on a Sonic game. <laughs> hey, the- my- my Wii U gamepad told me about it. When I went to play Mario Kart. Mario Kart! Mario Kart. I... Suck at Mario Kart. <laughs> playing as- for some reason, playing against people is way easier than playing against bots now. Oh, okay. That's... Like, I play- I play the online ranked, which isn't, like, super great. Because I'm pretty sure they purposefully stack the games. Because, like, you know how the bots work in that game, right? Yeah. How Nintendo chooses, or not Nintendo, like... <laughs> like, the game pretty much chooses one guy who's just gonna fuck your shit up. Well, yeah, they, they pick, like... it. They say, like, without without the player... Fuck, DaisyBot will get first place, because DaisyBot's DaisyBot. It um, actually depends on what character you're playing as. Like, the, when I was yeah, playing I, as... I play Wario. And I play Yoshi, and in that case, it's always Toad who just always does good. <laughs> yeah. There's, uh, there's always rivals. Although I don't play, um, uh, I don't play Yoshi anymore. I play Rosalina now. You know, she's a heavy character. Uh, this is good. This is good. It's final boss time, friends. It's just... I think Ooh, she's nice, lighter heavy, nice actually. Uh, she's heavy. She's heavyweight. No, there's, no, there's, uh, there's three subclasses. Yeah, I know, but... She, oh, light heavy, She might yeah. be, like, light heavy. Honestly, like, I... Don't like how you're not gonna be doing good unless you're a heavyweight character. That's not necessarily true. Um, like I mean, I mean, like just the fact that the heavyweight characters just in general are just so much better than the other ones. In 200 CC, I play uh, Baby Rosalina with uh with the the button wheels and what's that small cart called? Like the Scooter Prudy or something like that. The Scooty Booty. <laughs> the Scooty Booty. That's the dance that you're doing right now. That. Okay. Am I am I wrong? <laughs> no, I I'm just gonna. I, I I'm just gonna. <laughs> oh yeah, no, she's she's bottom of the. I think she's. Look at him run! I always love how he. I runs. like how he waits for you at the end of the screen if you get like caught on a wall or something. Yes. Oh, um. He went bye bye. Well, Sonic's Sonic also gonna around. go bye bye. He's gonna go oh, in the teleportation. Teleportation, yeah! Shibbity bap bap. <laughs> Teleporting just... around at the speed of. Uh, I just want to point out that like, Rosalina is in the same weight class as Donkey Kong. She must be dense. More dense than Mario. Yeah. Apparently, she's got muscle. She's got Mario butt all over. Oh, no! Over the, <laughs> the Chaos Emerald! Just Aww. one Chaos Emerald! Wow, that's upsetting. That really is. Okay. Oh, no, wait. There were six of them, and they're all blue for some reason. You're blue. Actually, I'm not- I am blue, dab <laughs> Actually, uh, I have no blue on me at all right now. Except for maybe, like, some veins that are, like, visible from the skin. <laughs> oh. That's blue. It is blue. Sonic left. One. <laughs> Sonic left. What about Whoa. Sonic right? Oh! Sorry, sorry. Tails right. Oh. Sonic left, tails right. Yeah. I don't know what a special bonus is, but I'll take it. Um... If you guys are given the opportunity anyway, let's pause to the be video. a chain-smoking crow, would you take it? I thought you just said if you guys were gay. No? Uh, I'll leave that up to your imagination. Anyway, Will, tell us your final thoughts. Uh, final thoughts. I thought... It was um, gay. Zero out of ten. 
<laughs> 10 out of 10. I wasn't a big fan of the level design. Level sizes were very inconsistent. They didn't make a lot oh, of sense. I like um, I, uh... Maybe, maybe it's just because it's an old game and it's dated. But yeah. it did seem pretty poorly put together. Um, but I'll, I'm not gonna, not gonna bank, bank on that too much because that was... It's an old game, so you, what do you gotta expect? Um, I thought the music was really nice. The music was, uh, pretty, pretty neat. Um... And I thought what they did with the um, visual limitations that they had for the arts, uh, art of the game was actually pretty pretty creative. Um, so I'd all in all give it like a five is average. Yeah. Uh, I'd give it a five. Okay. Carrie. Um, I'm gonna kind of piggyback off of what Will said. Um, I did think it was interesting what you said about the um, level design. I suppose, like, as somebody who, who doesn't really play these type of games and who hasn't played this game, I, I, I wasn't really, um, I can't really relate to how well the level design is and the layout. Like, I know I mentioned earlier that I liked it, but maybe that's because, you know, I haven't played it. I think I was maybe more speaking about the gaming mechanics. I do think there were some interesting ones in there. Um, I really liked the appearance of the levels. There's just something about 8-bit that just has a nice, charming, nostalgic feeling to me, so, um, you know, you, if something's decent quality and it's 8-bit, I'm probably gonna like it. Um, it's kind of like what Will said. I, I, I definitely enjoyed their music, and, um, overall, I felt like it was a very charming game. Um, I think I liked it a bit more than the one we did previously, to be honest, so I'd give it about... And what did I give the last one? Did I remember? I, I think remember. I gave it a six and a half. Yeah, something like that. I don't know. I'd give this one a seven. Okay, um, so my thoughts are honestly, like, I think the level design accommodates the slightly different control well, although at times it kind of feels like I'm playing a Mario game, to be honest. <laughs> um... <laughs> The music is really good, as usual, um, I just don't think this game really stands out, and it's pretty clear by looking at a few things that this was originally just gonna be a watered-down port of the Genesis game, probably. Um, like, you can even find Marble Zone's track, uh, hidden, musical track, hidden in the, uh, game's coding. Which, uh, but, um, just... It's not, it's not something I go back to often. I'd rather play the Genesis games over this. Um, but I mean, it's still, a, it's still a solid game. I, I give it a seven out of 10. All right, so next time, um, we're going to be playing what many consider to be the hardest game in the series. I don't think it wins that title. I think Sonic Unleashed edges over it just a little bit, but um, yeah, it's many consider it to be the hardest game in the series, and we're gonna watch me actually do pretty good at it, and say fuck you to difficulty systems. We'll see you next time with Sonic the Hedgehog 2 on the Sega Master System and the Sega Game Gear. Until then, I'm Evan. I'm still Carrie. I'm Will. And we're signing off.